Hello, this is Fanny Sissimi here. Welcome to NTR TV. Today we are very honored to be welcomed at Baykent University, one of the most privileged private university in Istanbul. And right in front of me is Mrs. Bilgenur Uslu. Hello, Mrs. Uslu. How Hello, are you? Fanny. I'm fine. How about you? Thank I'm pretty sure to meet you. Uh, it's our honor as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your inviting and thank you for your uh, all of the things actually. <laughs> the pleasure is shared, Mrs. Uslu. So, uh, Mrs. Uslu, can you please tell us more about you? Okay, I am Liliana Uslu. I am a Baykent University International Promotion Specialist. Uh, I work with uh, Make Baykent University a global place actually. Yeah. Uh, if you want to tell Baykent University a little bit. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, please. We are here for that. <laughs> okay. Baykent University was established in 1997. Uh, actually, one of the first private universities in Istanbul. Wow. Uh, firstly, only one building in Baykent University and then grows it. And right now, four campuses we have in the uh, heart of Istanbul. Okay. So, can you tell us more about the, all those campuses? What are the programs that Okay, uh, we have nine faculties, uh, one uh, postgraduate institute and one vocational school. Actually, here is vocational school. Right. Our office is vocational school and Ayaza campus. Our campus name is Beylikdüzü, Ayaza, Taksim and Hadumköy campuses. Taksim mm -hmm. is only postgraduate program campuses. Right. But Beylikdüzü campus, uh, medicine, dentistry, sociology and like that, social science campuses. Mm -hmm. Our Ayazan campuses is uh, most important things are African students because full of the African students Ayazan campus okay. uh, engineering faculties mm -hmm. all of the engineering programs is there. All right. So we were talking about African country uh, African natives studying at Beykent University. Um, does it mean that you, aside from Turkish language, you also give your courses in different uh, languages like English, studying from from it. Yes, this is important thing yeah. for us because uh, African students wants to learn Turkish actually, uh, maybe sometimes learn English programs like that. Okay. We have Tomer courses. Uh, if students want to learn Turkish, that's possible of course. Yeah. Uh, or Tomer is on the Beylik to the campus. If students want to one year learn Turkish and after start education. Yeah. And for the viewers, Turmer in Turkey is a center, a national center where um, foreigners are taught to learn the Turkish um, language and it's the most um, known one, if we can say. Yes, yes. of course. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we were just talking ab about the programs that you mm -hmm. gave here at Bacon University. Uh, do you also give any accredited uh, programs? Yes, sure, we have uh, a lot of accreditation programs, but uh, a lot of uh, agreements is uh, process in signature right now. Yeah. But uh, usually uh, provides uh, English programs, uh, we have accreditation programs. Mm -hmm. For example, ESHA and Pearson like that. And what about the degrees? Um, do you give PhD courses here, mm -hmm. master courses? Like for the viewers who are, of course, curious to know more about that. Uh, frankly, I will uh, say to our diploma, for example, uh, if students want to uh, master our PhD programs yeah. uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. that's possible because our diploma uh, approved the world, actually. Mm -hmm. We have to a uh, blue diploma. Oh, that's great. Um, talking about um, being uh, open to the world, um, like most Turkish university, they have those kind of opportunity for yeah. the students, like Erasmus programs. Like when you come to the university, you don't really have to stay at the same university until you finish your program. You also have those opportunity to go to uh, other countries and. Yeah. Um, do you have, do you offer or are you associated with the Erasmus programs here? Yes, we have uh, a lot of uh, country MOU programs and Erasmus programs, uh, especially Italy, Bulgaria and Germany, like these countries, uh, a lot of university or partnership actually, but uh, we continue with a signature for Erasmus agreements. Oh, that's great. 
That's great. So um, how is the process registration and what are the needed documents for the new students who would like to get enrolled mm -hmm. here at Bacon University? Actually, a lot of time, uh, uh, students scared the registration university because uh, they think a uh, difficult process sure. but uh, not this because our university uh, established a simply application system we have online application system uh, maybe we share it uh, students sent to our documents for example transcript passport and high school diploma this is important thing for us uh, for first step and after sent to our papers and after we sent to students conditional acceptance letter. Yeah. Uh, so if I get you well, this process, uh, talking about the high school diplomas and transcripts and all uh, the passport, yeah. we are necessarily talking about the undergraduate students for sure. Yes. What about the master's students or the PhD students? Do they have to first write, like uh, to submit any thesis mm -hmm. proposal first? before they get accepted to your university mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. actually same process past the same process actually but mm -hmm. uh, master degree and phd degree important thing for us as like a gpa mm -hmm. we want uh, to gpa actually okay that's great yeah that's great um now uh you know the world is getting closer the countries are getting closer to each other students wish to move around the world to study mm -hmm. but there are some people who do not have the chance like talking about the financial issues yeah. some people do, do not have the, those chance to come to turkey for instance and study but thank god mm -hmm. uh, universities offer scholarships or grants mm -hmm. uh, what <laughs> about those opportunities uh, those opportunities here at mm -hmm. bacon university actually our aim is uh, every time high quality and affordable price because uh, we know a uh, student situation and uh, some students process for visa uh, residence permit this is a high uh, quality is important thing for us mm -hmm. we have every time provide high quality education because important thing for us mm -hmm. and after uh, maybe if students successful students and maybe we provide scholarship right mm -hmm. uh, students especially engineering faculties uh, uh, if if students wants to uh, provide another project like um, another activity we have every time provide scholarships scholarships that's great that's great. So what are the chances to uh, your students after graduation uh -huh. generally? Do you offer um, any trainship opportunities or like, tell me more, I want to know. Actually, this is important questions, yes. I know, but uh, we have one office for only career department. Uh, we every time uh, provide career opportunities actually for uh, international students wants to uh, right uh, graduation and after find a job i know and we know our university every time uh, provide the situation for example our vacation is only two years programs you know and uh, a lot of foreigner students wants to uh, graduation for one years maybe <laughs> For residence permit actually. Uh, how do you cope with that like when they want to finish or uh, quickly then yes. it was yes fastly like how do you uh, how do you cope with it uh, two years programs mm -hmm. uh, maybe if, if uh, students wants to quickly that's possible oh that's yes. possible then yeah. okay um, so Mrs. Oslo uh, in Turkey we all know that there are a lot of universities yes. and the competition is huge actually right now so what are the benefits like us you Bacon University what are the benefits that you offer to your students mm -hmm. I should say about Bacon University uh, a lot of opportunity because uh, we have TV channel we have hospital we have dental hospital this is opportunity for famous still like Istanbul because a lot of foreigner students and maybe after graduation uh, a lot of have problem the students but Bacon University uh, actually work with students quality mm -hmm. 
For example, if students very successful and high GPA, maybe if they want to work with our TV channel or medicine hospital or dental hospital, that's possible. Uh, so those dental, uh, the dental clinics and the hospitals are under the uh, the group of vacants. Am I getting your word? Yes, of uh, course. They same are the same. Honor. Yeah. All right. All right. Great to know. Um, now, how would you like to? Uh, would you like the African students who are watching you right now to reach out to you? Mm -hmm. This is important things because yeah. uh, like uh, internet provide or, or application system is important thing and of course NTRTV. Sure. Uh, they can reach our websites and NTRTV. All right. Great to know. Uh, now, can you talk more about your campuses? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know we've already talked about it shortly, mm -hmm. but would you like to share more information about your campuses with us? Okay, right now we have four campuses, yeah. heart of Istanbul, but uh, huge campuses are Beylikdüzü mm -hmm. campus and Ayaza campus. Mm -hmm. In Beylikdüzü campus, we have medicine, dentistry and social science faculties. For example, medicine, uh, dentistry, uh, sociology, uh, literature like that. Mm -hmm. But Ayaza campus, engineering programs and Hadumköy campus, uh, political science and finance, economics and Taksim right. campus is only PhD and master program. All right, great to know this. It's very important. Yeah. Now, uh, what are the most chosen departments at Bacon University? Uh, of course, computer engineering, uh, because you know, uh, these days uh, so many people focus yeah. on the technology like that. And uh, especially African students want to every time software and engineering, uh, like civil engineering uh, prefer actually. And after computer engineering, uh, maybe medicine. Wow, that's good. Uh, we are really glad to know more about you today. Now, as a representative of Bacon University, um, how would you rate your university to the viewers? Okay, uh, our students number is right now uh, 2,000 foreigner students actually, uh, but African students, uh, 200 African students we have right now, but you know, uh, we take a lot of students, especially Middle East and Africa, mm -hmm. especially in Nigeria, Kenya, GB2 like that. So, dear viewers, we are almost at the end of our program and uh, our guest was Mrs. Bilgenur Uslu. Um, before we close the show, would you like to say any, any words before we leave you? Uh, thank you for everything, huge. I'm so pretty to meet you. Thank you every time. The pleasure is us as well, Mrs. Uslu. And dear viewers, thank you for watching NTR TV. And uh, uh, we keep in touch for the other programs. See you. Uh -huh.